first thing I witnessed when I saw the collapse of the Waiho Bridge was sort of washing away piece by piece. I think about three spans washed away just like that. And my first thought was, how are we going to get communications back up and running to everywhere south of Franz Joseph through to Fox Glacier? The dangers and challenges for the community of Fox Glacier, obviously they had no communications to emergency services, um, no communication to family, anything. That was the biggest danger and not being able to access uh, help when required. Down I flew a team from Christchurch down to Fox Glacier to set up a temporary satellite cell phone site, gave them temporary communications back to the area. Our next port of call was to figure out how we were going to get cable back across the river. The first step in stringing the cable across the river was getting poles, one on the south side which uh, we could not access uh, easily. The first step with that was transporting a 12 metre pole across the river utilising 20 tonne diggers. And once that pole was stood up and in place, we managed to arrange for the helicopter to fly the cable across the river. It felt really good when we finally got everything back up and running for the south side. I felt better about the fact that the community could contact the outside world and any emergency could be dealt to then and there. The challenges we have over here with the um, distance we cover and the remoteness of all our area here, we're so far from help when these big disasters do happen and a lot of the time help can't get in from outside the area. So. We're a small team of about 13 staff here on the west coast, spread on a distance from Wellington to Auckland. You generally do quite a few k's for the week and you get a good variety of um, areas that you work in. Our main priority is to keep everything going. We get disruptions through storms or lightning events or technical events so our first priority is to get repairs done or maintenance done so that the lesser outages the better. It gives you a good feeling of satisfaction. I was involved with the Pike River a wee bit and I was down at the Waiho River incident as well. And it's just amazing how the, the people in general, the contractors and even the locals all work together. You get things done. With the distances you travel and in my particular setup with my van, I have to carry stuff. If I'm in Karamea, I need stuff, materials that I need for the day and I have to make sure I have them with me because you can't just drive down the road and pick them up or get them off someone else. If I was a young guy starting on the West Coast and the Telco team, I'd say try and broaden your technical knowledge and put your hand up to do anything that's asked because the more you know, the more value you'll be around the area and to the company. What I love most about my job here on the West Coast is probably the location, just being able to get out and about in the beautiful place of the country and have a really great team of guys around me that make my job a lot easier.